Hi all, welcome to the tutorial on, on shape modeling. In this video, I'm going to model a helical spring with two N hooks. Okay, it will be like this. Here we are using a helix, then we use a sweep feature. Then we go for uh, bridging curves. Okay, so bridging curves we are using to get a smooth transition from the helix to the upper hooks. All right. So we'll start a part studio. I'll just sketch in the top lane. Make a circle with center as origin. A radius as 60 mm and I finish that sketch I'm going for making a helix here I'm selecting a turns and pitch I'll select the circular edge and I need uh, 10 numbers of revolution with a pitch of 20. So my helix is ready now. So now I will draw the hooks here. After that, I will make a bridging curve to connect the hooks. Okay, so I'm going to draw the hooks in the uh, right plane. I will select an arc center point arc just click the center here and the radius I will make it as 15. make it as 25 make the radius as Thirty. made a construction line made that touch there I have a semicircle
I want to draw a tangent here. Go select tangent constraint. All right, that is finished. The same thing I'm going to repeat here. Let's make a construction line. That is two twenty five. Then I'm going to make a arc. Center here. Radius. Where here I'll make all right okay and I'll just make the dimension as thirty all right I need a, a tangent line here okay so this line escape I'll click the tangent constraint all right so my sketch is finished now now I'll go for a bridging curve okay. so click on the bridging curve select this one and the second side as this okay and give uh, it's a smooth transition if you want to give little more bend give it is 1.5 magnitude you can see it is a, a little more it's it seems to be good now okay all right that's finished all right we came here We'll go for another bridging here. Select the bridging curve. Just click that point. And the second side will be this tangent line. Tangent line, tangent, make the magnitude 1.5. All right, you see it's a smooth finish. Okay, so click here. Now our helix finish. Okay, so bridging is finished. Now we go for the sweep. Okay, the first sweep. We'll do for this. The sweep path I will select this. All right. I'll go for a second sweep. Just select this profile. 
the sweet path as this one and this one. One more sweep I'm going to give this sweep path, this, this. So it's finished. Hope you are now familiar with the, uh, the bridging curves. Okay, so they are used basically to connect two entities with a very smooth transition. Okay, so if you see, if you if you go to the curvature visualization, you can see. It's so smoothly connected. Okay, so this is so smoothly connected. This area is so smoothly connected, and this is also smoothly connected. You can see the curvature analysis. Okay, so that is the advantage of using bridging curves. Okay, so you can see also for advanced surface modeling, also we can use this curve. Hope you enjoy this video. Thank you very much.